Are you ready to join Vape Nation? Vape Nation! <laughs> and we mean really join it. Because you'll be vaping for 24 hours straight. No breaks. Okay, maybe we'll let you go to the bathroom. <laughs> Let's find out. Is vaping really dangerous? What would vaping for 24 hours do to your lungs? And is it possible to overdose from vaping? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you vaped for 24 hours straight. How dangerous is vaping exactly? Well, we're not entirely sure yet. According to the Centers for Disease Control, there have been about 2,300 vaping-related medical incidents in the United States. Many of these patients were suffering from chest pains and nausea, but nearly 50 people have died from vaping. Now, keep in mind that there have only been a couple of thousand issues among 35 million vapors worldwide. So sure, it's probably far from being a health food, and vaping should probably be done in moderation, but let's throw all that out the window and vape for 24 hours straight, just because we can. First, we need to figure out what kind of vape we're using. Let's go with the variety that contains nicotine, as it's the most common kind of e-cigarette. How many puffs would you even be able to take in a single day? Well, let's say you're really into vaping, so you want to take a puff roughly every single minute, in between bites of food, while you're going to the washroom, and definitely when you're sitting on the couch. If you were to do this, you could take 1,440 puffs of your vape in 24 hours. Fat clouds, bro! <coughs> if that doesn't sound like a lot to you, let's put these numbers in perspective. A 2015 study found that, on average, a vapor's daily puff intake is about 132. So, multiplying this by more than 10 would be quite a lot of vapor, man. And yes, we do mean vapor, since e-cigarettes don't actually produce any sort of smoke. Even though it can get smelly and appears like smoke from a cigarette, it's just water vapor and either propylene glycol or vegetable glycerin. But your vapor-filled room will actually be the least of your worries once you're about halfway through your 10 milliliter cartridge of galactic milk vape juice. Now, you're starting to feel queasy. That's because you might be starting to get nicotine poisoning. Yeah, sorry about that. We probably should have warned you off the top. So, how did this happen anyway? Well, if your vape cartridge is lightly nicotine flavored, that gives you about 12 milligrams of nicotine per milliliter of vape juice. And once you're about 500 puffs in your epic vape sesh, you'll be about halfway through your cartridge. <laughs> This means you've just inhaled 60 milligrams of nicotine, which is equivalent to about 60 cigarettes. According to the CDC, this is enough to get nicotine poisoning, although some research suggests otherwise. Regardless of the specific numbers, smoking this much in such a short period of time can't be good, and will most likely result in some sort of nicotine poisoning. This doesn't mean you're overdosing, which would result in death, Luckily for you, researchers think this is almost impossible to happen. That's because by the time nicotine reaches a lethal concentration in your body, you'll end up vomiting all over the place. And it wouldn't just be coming out of your mouth either. It would be coming out the other end as well. Although nicotine is used to relax and keep you at ease, you'd be experiencing the opposite with heart palpitations and fading in and out of consciousness. This would definitely be scary and gross, but it would flush the toxins out of you, so you won't die this time. And if you're a vapor who doesn't use nicotine, then you'll still have some things to worry about. The heating element in an e-cigarette emits tiny particles that include metals. These can be dangerous to the lungs and get into your circulatory system. These particles have been linked to things like high blood pressure and heart attacks, so if you were to do this for 24 hours straight, there's a good chance you'd end up in the hospital. Let's face it, there probably isn't a single thing that you should be doing for 24 hours straight. If you are going to vape, try not to do it for that long, please. Another thing you shouldn't be doing for 24 hours straight is going without sleep. What would that do to you? 
Well, that's a story for another What If.